Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game, man. Check this out. All right. Man. I got to say this, and I got to keep it 100. Um, You could truly make a case that the... the <laughs> if you could truly make a case that the league got something against Drew Brees and the Saints... Because for some apparent reason, they do not want them to go to the Super Bowl. Because that is crazy that they lose a game on back-to-back -back controversial plays. I mean, it is what it is, man. And I'm thinking to myself that I think that the league want guys like Drew Brees and Tom Brady to go. They may not like what's going on, but they're going to have to accept it. Drew Brees and Tom Brady have had a great run. Drew Brees is a sure-fired first ballot Hall of Famer. He has pretty much all the damn records. You know, all-time passing leader. It's like you have a Super Bowl. The only thing Drew Brees never won was a league MVP. That's the only thing that he never won. I thought... I thought he could have made a case for winning the league MVP last year. But, hey, I have no problem with Patrick Mahomes. But at the end of the day, man, Drew Brees need to consider hanging it up. At the end of the day, he got nothing to prove. I mean, he got a Super Bowl. I mean, he got, you know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, nobody thought Drew Brees would do what he did. Being, like, at the very best, maybe six feet five eleven and to be able to play for as long as he did nobody expected drew Brees to put up the numbers that he put up you know he played played in san diego and then you know san diego they had to make a decision would it be him or philip rivers and they let him go to new orleans he signed as a free agent they decided they wanted to go with Philip Rivers because Philip Rivers was was taller, he was bigger. You know, nobody expected Drew Brees to have the career he had. For real. If anybody sitting up there, oh, I knew he would be the all-time passing leader. You you would you, you just, sorry, I'm not buying that. Most people thought Drew Brees at the very least based off his size would be a serviceable quarterback. At very least maybe a a, a backup have like a good three, four year run, maybe five, six at best. And then he would probably, you know, finish his career as a backup. But nobody thought Drew Brees would put up the numbers he put up. I didn't, not even the, not even the most diehard Saint fan thought Drew Brees would be the all time passenger. This dude goes to, San, goes to New Orleans from San Diego and this dude for like those for an astronomical amount of yards like just back to back to back constantly throwing for five you know what I'm saying 45 5,000 yards every year for years this was a dude that flourished off the NFL being a pass happy league I don't think Drew Brees would have made it in the Terry Bradshaw era Maybe, maybe not, but I doubt very seriously that he would have. But nevertheless, he flourished. He did his thing. But I think his time is up too. I think he should consider retiring. Drew Brees is 40 years old, 40 or 41 years old. And keep in mind, he's smaller than Tom Brady. Tom Brady is six foot four. Drew Brees, at best, maybe five, 11, six feet. So, I think Drew Brees should consider walking off into the sunset because it looked like the league got something against the Saints. But anyway, this is your boy Tail Biz. I'm out.